Alright everybody, this is Eternal Blade here and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we are covering the symmetry modifier. So, uh, we have this half of a spaceship here. I need a little gun, a little window, and an engine or something like that. So let's go ahead and go to our modifier list and add a symmetry modifier. So just type in sim, press enter, and now it's enabled. So you can see immediately that the object is symmetrical in one axis. So the gun's pointed this way and this way. But we don't exactly want that. So let's go to come to our mirror axis and change it to Y. And the object immediately disappears. Now that's because it's trying to be symmetrical on the same side. So if you hit flip, you'll see the entire object appear, which is quite nice for duplicating an object. A lot of the times you only want to model half of it, say for a car or for a human. I mean, you're not going to want to model the other half. It's just duplicating the same work. And if you put the Z axis on, you'll see it goes top to bottom but we're gonna use Y for now. So what are these other couple options here? Well, the first one here is slice along mirror. And to illustrate that, let's expand the modifier and click on the mirror button here. And if I move this, you'll see the object, it, uh, it moves with the slice. So this little line here will slice depending on where the object is, and it continues along. Now, if we take that off, you'll see that the whole object actually slides over. So you don't get that mirroring effect exactly. It's basically duplicating the object. Now, um, let's say we have our weld seam on. And if you increase the threshold a lot, you'll see it welds it. And if you decrease it, you'll see it'll unweld it. So basically, this is saying how close does the mirror or the symmetry need to be before the objects are um, you know, welded together. But just be very careful with that, because uh, sometimes it can cause a bit of problems. But for the most part, and the newer versions of 3ds max it works perfect so all right i hope you guys have enjoyed this quick tutorial on the symmetry modifier um, please be sure to like subscribe and uh, i will see you next time